Hey guys, so I just wanted to make a little disclaimer before you watch this video that the camera angles are horrible, the editing is really bad, and I think it's hilarious. So I hope that uh, you learned something from this video. We can have a little fun making gifts together. Um, and anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. There might be a few different times where I sign out, but that's just life. Sometimes these things happen, but anyway, enjoy the video and sorry about the really bad quality. Hey, hey, chicken wings. Crafting people who are looking for ideas on a gift basket. So this gift basket I'm making for people I work with uh, to give them a thank you. Thank you for your hard work. We appreciate it. I'm making, there's about 12 people that um, I'm making these for because that's who I'll work in the office. But I'm going to make four extra just in case because I don't want anyone to be like, hey, I work in the office and I didn't know they existed. So if you're going to do this like for a work thing, I, I say it's a good idea to make extras just in case. I'm going to show you the materials I get. It's mostly Dollar Tree, but not all of it is. And if uh, if there's something that you don't like in this gift basket, that's okay. You can do whatever you want. Like if you decide to go this route, you can doctor it up any way you want. do not have to look exact. So here's what I used. Okay, so this is like before I'm done. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use these or not. But I thought that it's springtime. It's uh, I think Easter's in a week. So I thought it might be cute to throw that in. I found these at Dollar Tree. They're these cute little succulents. They have different kinds, and they, they say something cute on it. I really like this one. What does it say? Aloe, you very much. Clever. Okay. Um, so, I got these little... What is this? Lotion? Can anybody be natural on camera? Anyway, I got these lotions. Um, there's also original scent. Um, so I got these because there's a couple men, so I didn't want it to be totally feminine. So for the men, I was thinking either this one or these, but they're definitely going to get these now. Um, these candles, they come four in a pack and they smell really good. Um, these butterflies, so I've already made some, but I'm not done. So um, I put the butterfly stickers on top, so... So these butterfly stickers came from Dollar Tree. These are so cute. These come from Dollar Tree too. And they didn't have enough that I needed. So I went ahead and they had these too. So I figured that can do the same exact thing. So these little trays are what um, the gifts are going to be on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sand them just a little bit. I'm not going to go crazy, but, you know, sand off a lot of those rough edges. And then I'm going to paint them. This paint I've already had. I bought these at Michael's. Um, this is just regular acrylic paint. So you can get acrylic paint from Dollar Tree for sure. And then they have these cute little jars that are colorful that I'm going to decorate. So the candy comes from Dollar Tree. Um... These little labels, they're chalk labels. As you can see, I was practicing on them already. Here. So this is what the jars might look like. Um, but this is the idea is to put candy in them. So this stuff right here is from Hobby Lobby. But um, these flowers are on sale. I looked up um, the meanings of flowers or roses. Pink flowers is like gratitude and thankfulness so I got pink for them I also got these colorful lace these are cheap they're like a dollar 99 um, because I am, am I'm trying to kind of color coat them because I had all the different colored paint so it's like blue pink red I know it's messy but what can you do <laughs> so um so since it they're kind of color coded I thought that these flowers I could kind of color code them some more so this thing it says that it's a tassel garland for $2.99 from Hoblob, but if you see the tassels are like individual and there's 12 and that's what I need. I need 12. So I'm going to just cut them off and I think I'm going to put them inside the jars to make them more colorful. What else did I get? Okay, so I got this. This is um, iridescent wrap. So when I'm done, I'm going to wrap them up. 
I also found these jars at Hobby Lobby for 10 bucks. There's 12 in there and they were just so cute. I don't know if I'm going to use them or not. Sorry. I'm like holding one hand. So I got these jars. I, I was trying to get them out. They were $9.99, so 10 bucks for 12 count, which makes them, I don't know, math, man, about 75 cents each or something. But they're so hard to get out. Okay, now it's going to come out. But these are just so cute. I don't know what I have with jars, but I'm going to do something with these probably. If it'll fit. If not, then I'll have to save them for another project. Also, um, I got this. I got this from Dollar Tree. And this is going to go... Um, it's adhesive. It's going to go on the bottom of the little trays. So some of these um, little wooden trays, just a couple of them, kind of separate a little bit on the seam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this, uh, this epoxy glue or this adhesive. I use it for jewelry. I've actually never used it for anything else, but... It says on here you can use it for wood. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the corner there and see if it holds up. I've actually already sanded this one. There we go. So, so I'm thinking it should hold. See, it happened when I was sanding it. I guess I was too rough with it. Okay, so if you're going to use acrylic paint, if you if you are going to do this, um, it's a good idea just to add a little bit of water to your acrylic paint because that wood just kind of soaks up the paint and uh, the water just kind of lubricates it a little bit, helps it stretch a little further. So <clears throat> you don't have to paint them. I mean, you just do whatever the heck you want to do. Just like Bob Ross says, this is your world. You're the creator. So I'm just going to paint it on the sides, inside and out. It's going to take two coats, you know, to get all those brush strokes out and to make it like a good solid color. So the edges can be a little rough, um, but that's, that's another reason why I, I sanded it. The way that I paint them is to just kind of go in one direction. That way it doesn't, if you're using a sponge or something, it doesn't ruin it. But um, if you sand it, it kind of, it gives it a smoother surface. And it doesn't matter if, um, if you get it down here, because we're going to cover that up with the, uh, with the adhesive paper. Okay, so this is that thing that I got from Hobby Lobby. It comes with 12 individually wrapped little plastic tassels. So I'm going to cut these off. Two of them. I'm going to cut in half um, because I'm actually doing 16, so I guess four of them I'll cut in half. I'll cut, like I'll split it, you know, that way the extra ones I'm doing get some of this little, little flare too, you know, jazz it up. Okay, so what I'm going to do next, I think, is I'm just going to cut off these little tops of the tassels because they would look kind of weird if we put these in the jars with it. So I'm just going to cut off their heads and then just, uh, sorry, I know I got painted. I know, crafters are messy. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm just going to cut their heads off and just put some of these in the jars. You know, what's funny is... <laughs> 
This stuff is full of static electricity. They just kind of stick to everything. So now I'm not sure if, uh, <laughs> if my coworkers are going to love it or, you know, be mad about it. <laughs> Woo! That's a lot. It kind of just sticks everywhere. That's just funny, though. All right, so these are all the jars of the little plastic stuff. Now we're going to try and distribute the candy evenly. Hershey's. 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 You want to try and keep things even if you can. I mean, they don't have to be the exact same candies, but you might want to try and make sure that they have at least an even amount of candy or maybe like the same size candies. All right, so I'm gonna have some extra. So I got these little golden eggs. So I'm gonna make sure everybody gets one. Okay, so for these uh, little chalk labels, I'm using this. I know my hands look crazy. So um, I, this is just a little squeegee bottle I got from Hobby Lobby. I don't remember how much I got it for. It came in a pack of two or three, and it's got a really fine tip on it. It's kind of leaking out right at this moment. But I put white glue, no, I put clear glue and white paint in it. That way it gives it a little bit of texture and it'll stay on the label. And these are gonna go on the jars. Okay, now that your little trays have dried, now we get to measure this. <laughs> you know, I know that some of you are smart and would use a measuring tape. <laughs> measuring tapes, yeah. So it would be probably smart if you did, if you wanted to, but me... Shoot, I, I, I live dangerously. All right, so I'm going to measure this. Don't mind my fingernails. I know they look terrible. I just, crafting is messy. Okay, so on the back of this paper, there's a, like ruler and stuff. So after you mark <laughs> where you need to cut, you just use these to help you cut straight lines. All right, let's see how this looks. See if it fits. Yeah, it might come up a little bit on the sides, but that's what this. Ow! That's what this is for. Be careful, guys. <laughs> Razor blades are sharp. Right, guys, that was just a what not to do. I was just, I was just kidding. Okay, so the back of the paper, it just comes right off, okay? So now we're going to put it in our little tray here and pretend like we know what we're doing. Okay. This is not going to be flush right there. Okay, so... Um, Have this little card thing. I don't know what I did with it. Yeah, I use this. Alright. So use like a debit card or something. Okay, so since it's not totally perfect right there. You can still see some of the wood. I'm just gonna take this little paintbrush and 
Get my green. Oh, it's over here. Okay. But I'm just gonna get just a little bit of green paint. I mean, just just a little, just a little dabble, do ya? Okay, maybe a little more than a dab. Wow, is that transparent? That was weird. Come on. All right, there we go. There we go. Okay. See? I tried to make a how-to video on how to do it right. And I'll be honest, it's all just trial and error. Okay, so that's going to take probably just a minute to dry okay so what I'm gonna do is since it came up a little bit on the sides I'm gonna carefully get it in that little creased area carefully And then you just kind of take the corner of your razor blade and kind of peel it off the side there. What you could do before doing this, if you wanted to, is you can varnish um, the sides, you know. But I'm not going to do that because the varnish that I have is expensive and I have a whole bunch of these. So it looks good without it though, but... But if you wanted to, you could certainly do that. All right, so I'm just going to do that. I know somewhere somebody's saying, if you would have used a measuring tape, you could have avoided this step. And you'd be right. But you see, I don't use measuring tapes. There's just, I have just, very terrifying memories of measuring tapes and I don't want to talk about it. We just, we don't use measuring tapes. I'm just kidding. Just kidding, folks. I'm just lazy. Okay. This paper is so pretty. All right, let's see how this turned out. Let's see. Oh, I did it again. I gave you a, a tip on what not to do again. Now this came out. Okay, here it comes. Okay. See, my husband doesn't really let me use sharp objects because I cut myself sometimes. He says that I don't utilize knife safety. But what does he know? He don't know poop. All right. All right, well, there we go. So that was fun, huh? I guess I can flip this up right. Yeah, look at that. You got this nice little tray with a fancy innard. Makes it look professional. Oh, look, there's still some up. Well, I'm going to cut that off, and then I will, we'll start the next step. All right. Now for the jar. Okay, so I just put it on its side because it's easier for me to record like this, even though you... It's a horrible... Look, I don't know how to do cameras, okay? All right. So I'm just going to stick this on. And voila! Bam! So now we have a labeled jar. We're going to close the jar. And then I'm going to get a sticky sticker. Okay, so I'm just going to get this sticker and go plop. Looks like it's bent a little bit. That's okay. It's pretty. All right, now for the decorating, I guess. Okay, so I did a black one, which I just, something told me to do a black one. And I think it came out really cute. I mean, I did them all different colors because it's fall and there's a lot of people. But this black one looks good with the paper, too. All right, so we're going to...
have the jar on it like that. Actually, I think I'm going to put it on its side like that. Um, okay, let me get the stuff. Okay, sorry, that's about the best I can do with this can camera angle. So I think I want the name on the outside because I'm going to wrap these up and it um, just gives a little bit more room. So when it's wrapped up, the name's going to be facing out. So they will know whose it belongs to. Okay, so each one of these gets a little lotion. Okay, so since this one is black, I'm going to give it a white one. This one says, give kindness daily. Okay, so there. Oh, a candle. What did I do with the candles? <sighs> See, crafter problem. I just had them. I had them on video. Okay, I found them. <laughs> they were to my right. Okay, so these are green candles. Um, oh, it smells really good. What does it smell like? Coconut lime. Awesome. Okay, so I got the little candle. Got the little jar. Are this okay that goes here okay and then I also it gets one of these remember the little things so it has a little Bible card on it this one says if God is your partner make your plans big that's gonna go right there and then let me put this down I also got these little eggs so I made keychains to go with them. So this is the keychain. So it's a it's a little bottle, and um, the keychains are going to look different. But um, so I might make a video on how to make these. But it goes with the Bible verse, and I actually printed out these little papers to go with it. I printed them out on my computer. It's Psalm 56, 8 through 9. Thou tellest my wandering. Put thou my tears into thy bottle. Are they not in thy book? When I cry unto thee, then shall mine enemies turn back. This I know, for God is with me. So what it's saying is that God loves us so much that he keeps all of our tears in bottles in heaven. So this keychain is to remind us of that. So what I think I'm going to do is roll these up into like a little scroll, I guess. Or should I fold it? How should I, should I just put it in there like that? And then, I don't know. See, this is a bar and I really don't want to bend that. It fits though. Let's see what I choose to do. Okay, I think I figured it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll this gently. And uh, my husband wanted these little tiny rubber bands for a craft he's doing. But I'm just going to use it for that. Put that in the egg along with the keychain. Careful not to, I can't bend it. Okay. So then, I guess that can go right there. Okay, so it's got that. There's, oh, okay. And then a Bible card, or this is like a little prayer card. And then just like that. So this is what, this is what they're going to get in this little tray. This is the tray that I'm doing. So then I guess, I guess that's pretty much it. Now I just got to do this with all of them and wrap them up. Sorry, I almost forgot to add the little flower. And I don't think there's enough room on here for those other little jars. So I think we're going to skip those this time. I changed it to where instead of the little Bible card, um, it says a pink rose to show our appreciation for all your hard work you do. 
We are thankful for you. Your hard work does not go unnoticed. Thank you from all of us at my job. So, so this is what they look like from the side. They're going to be wrapped up. And then, um, so you can see their names. And this is what it looks like with the rose. Okay, so I ran out of pink roses for the extra ones that we're doing for the, you know, the roses to say thank you. So I bought the, those lays um, from Hobby Lobby. And I'm not actually really using them. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with them or if I even was going to use them. But I went ahead and I took it apart. And I put um, some pink flower petals from the lay in this jar. So this is going to be in lieu of the rose since since I ran out of roses. So I think that it's a really cute little alternative. So this is what this extra one looks like. So it still has the it still has everything else. And I just kind of laid the egg right there. Alright guys, it's the next day I finished. Um <clears throat> sorry, oak is really bad. So I finished making all the Easter eggs and everything yesterday. So today we're going to wrap them. And I thought it'd be a funny video because. Welcome to another episode of I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, so this is what I'm going to wrap them in. This is called iridescent wrap. It's clear. And. This is what they're going to look like after they're all wrapped up. So, I got these from Hobby Lobby. These are on sale. It says that they're $3.99 on, on here. They're half off, so they're about $2 each. So, um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So, for what I'm doing with these trays, one roll will wrap about five of them. So, I had to get a few of these so anyway this is what I'm using okay so let's pretend like I know what I'm doing <laughs> all right so one thing I learned about this stuff is it's not that easy to cut I'm sure that there's professionals out there that have learned the trick the ancient trick of iridescent film but I have not and I'm probably even more sure that there's probably video somewhere on how to use it. But where's the fun on doing it correctly? We need to learn on our own. This is a doggy dog world, okay? If we're going to wrap gifts, we need to figure it out, okay? Can't always expect help. <laughs> so, one thing that I learned so far on making this easy is taking a razor blade because the scissors just don't really do good and I'm just gonna kind of make holes being careful not to hit my skin alright these are a Dollar Tree too alright so, alright this is for the jerks that are gonna say why don't you just use scissors? It's so easy. Alright, yeah, let's use the scissors. Okay. Did I say jerks? I meant viewers. I'll try and tighten it up a little bit. See, it, like if you try and tighten it up to give it some, some give, it starts going crazy. I don't know, I just found that the, uh, the razor blade does better than scissors. And that's my personal experience with this stuff. So now, now that I've perforated it, then I'm just going to kind of slowly go from hole to hole and go out. This is the best way that I've discovered on how to do this because you see how it's, it's still not uh, being totally straight. What it wants to do is it wants to make, it wants to do this. 
It wants to make this crazy. It wants to act like it got it bit by a shark, which I don't know why this paper has such attitude, but it does. All right, so here's the paper cut. The paper cut. <laughs> I, oh, that's right here. Okay, so now I'm going to place this bad boy in the middle. And I'm going to try and get this even. Even in the middle here. There. Okay. So... It's even in the middle, so then I'm just going to kind of scoop it up. Scoop, scoopy doop, doopy shoop from all angles. Okay. Alright, then I'm going to take, uh, my phone's on it. Let me see if I can get it without disturbing the phone. And the answer is no. Oh no, oh no! Okay. Let's find out if I edit all that out. Alright, so these things can pop on you. So be careful. I got these at Dollar Tree too. It was a shopping spree at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Don't steal that. I, I'm going to copyright it and I will sue. Alright. Alright, there. There she goes. Alright, so this is a purple, so I'm going to use a purple string. So this is just uh, some embroidery twine I have here. I already had this, but I'm pretty sure that you can get this at Dollar Tree too. I mean, they got all kinds of stuff now. You know, I never thought that I would see the day that Dollar Tree was... In competition with Hobby Lobby. It's just crazy. Alright, so I'm going to just really tighten it. Really tighten it because I don't want these coming apart. So they're going to actually have to use scissors to open these, which is fine because I'd rather them have trouble opening them than then be opening on me during the delivery. Alright. So, this is the finished product. Um, it's iridescent, and there's going to be a balloon hanging from this. So, this is how I make my gifts, and I will probably take a picture of all of them put together when they're finished. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. And you know what? If you decide to do this, let me know. Like, let me know if people do this, because it's fun, and it makes you feel good. And, you know, it might help you make friends. Might make things a little easier at work. Okay, anyway, you have a great day. Thanks for watching my video. Bye.